Welcome to the Kid Nation Extra. Oh, hello, hello. This Thursday, Friday Eve is what we like to call this. Uh huh. I do have an update from yesterday's Extra. Okay. Oh, Told yeah. you that my son finally slept in his bed. Yes. It was awesome. Yep. Except we found out he had been up all night reading books because he doesn't know how to sleep in his bed. Uh huh. And that's what he quoted. Um, well, I woke up this morning. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I reached on over to rub my son's head like I normally do. Yep. And he was right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back at it again. How's that punishment going? <sighs> well, he's still grounded from the video games and the TV and the and okay, a, so a couple you, other things. But when you said, don't be in my bed tonight, that was just a one-night thing. That wasn't for the duration of the being grounded. Yeah, I guess I, I think he took it very literally Yeah. and uh, was just gone for that one night. And he snuck. I didn't even know he snuck in there. I was sleeping that good. <laughs> Falsely, I took a uh, melatonin. Yeah. yeah, that's my go-to at night. So there's your update. All right, Kason's back in Thank the bed. Buddy. Thank you, buddy. Big guy, you getting ready for your hot date this weekend? Well, yeah, I don't know how hot it's gonna be, but yeah, she's uh, she's driving up from San Antonio. Yep. And uh, we did have a discussion yesterday about the option of flying. You've been talking <clears throat> constantly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Good. So, and I I offered to split the airfare with her. How and- romantic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen her, never met her. You She's know. the love of your life. You never know. Yeah. And um, she said, well, we kind of talked to her. She checked on it. And she said, I th- I've got some things to do. And just so I can leave whenever I want to to come up there, I'll just go ahead and drive. And then, likewise, when she wants to leave and go home, she can. It's, she's not bound by a schedule of a right. flight. There's a chance she never goes back home. There's a chance. You never know. You never know, Kelly. There's a chance, JC. I mean, she could just come up here and, you know, camp out. Uh-huh. You know, it could be the long haul. could be the one, as Jenna says. Move it into your new apartment with yeah. no couches, no furniture. No nothing. Oh, you need a woman's touch. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, she'll be up here Saturday. Okay. Awesome. And uh, she'll spend at least Saturday night, maybe even Sunday, because a, a lot of people don't have to work on Monday. Yeah. For right. MLK Day. MLK's so, off. So, We'll see. We got it off this uh, this year, too, as well. Yeah. So just, just a little heads up in case you were planning on coming down to the studio. It's going right. to be a repeat show. So Jenna's man continues uh, chivalry and uh, moved on into the kitchen. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I didn't even. He made lamb chops last night, and he mm-hmm. stacked them up on the plate with the bones. Like Jenna showed me a picture, and I'm like, oh, what, what restaurant did you guys go to? Yeah. He like put a that chef, a, huh? Yeah. Well, we went to the grocery store together, which I love doing. But then he makes this and put, presents it to me. I'm like, I did a good job last week, I thought, for me. Yeah. No, but PB&J? Also, you know, I made that goat cheese stuffed chicken. Yeah. And uh, But he, like, st- the presentation was, was so incredible. good. It was the, he made he a garnished. homemade sauce. Yeah, he garnished it. Garnished? Garnished. Yes. Like Parsley? cauliflower, rice, yes. carrots. You should have oh. seen the pan. I was like, okay. Since when is a Mexican making Moroccan food as his go-to dish, first of all? Right. I was expecting some delicious enchiladas. Nope. No, he Lamb chops. But you know the good thing about him being a better cook than me? What? He has to cook all the time. Yeah, he showed you. He played yeah. his hand, and now he's got to play that. Fellas, you can't do that. Love it. But he likes it. Some guys love to cook, yeah, dude. That's true. Okay. Uh, Does right. Alan like to cook? He has cooked for me twice this week, which has been an, a been lovely, good? lovely thing. He yeah. does a great job, but Does he cook in his mantis? Not usually. No. 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 no you got to be careful, man. You don't want oil like hitting true. you and stuff. I ain't thought about that. Remember Kid accidentally uh, yeah. got the jalapeno yeah. on there? Yeah. I love it because I just get to sit there and have a glass of wine and watch yeah. and support. I give sexy. emotional support. Mm-hmm. Sexy. Yeah. How was uh, you guys finally went to the grocery store? That's like an official thing, too. We've been doing all sorts That's of stuff That's a big together. deal. Yeah. When's the last time you cooked for Kenzie, JC? Uh, Blue Apron. I mean, we do that yeah. once in a while. She likes to cook, though. I, I'm, I just I don't. Yeah. I'm not a, I like, I'll do it and I feel cool when I'm doing it. Right. But it's not something where I'm sitting there and I'm like, man, I can't wait to, try to get in the recipe. kitchen and try this new recipe. Mm. But if you give me the ingredients and it's all set there, I'll do it. So aside from Blue Apron, it's been a couple, a few years since I cooked for Kinsey. I'm wow. just, I just don't have that passion for it. Yeah. I wish I did though. I really do wish I, yeah. I had you a passion. You should this weekend. It's going to be chilly. Uh-huh. Yeah, you should make chili. Well, I'll make some chili. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's Grinch. so cold. We got a bunch of food. We're like, okay, we'll cook. The white chili? I'm a, I'm a guest on a podcast this weekend. Oh, really? For my Ooh. buddy, yeah. No. Oh. Who's your buddy? White tea. What's the podcast? I don't know. He said uh, they're not releasing it yet, so I don't know how much I'm allowed to oh. tell, but he invited me on his show with him and his buddy. Okay, so you're the test pilot, I guess. I'm the test pilot. Yeah, him and his buddy, uh, you know his buddy Derek? Uh, oh. The Dutchster. 
mm. the Dutchter. Oh yeah, the Dutch, Dutch oven. oven. Yeah. Oh, they call him the Dutchter. The Dutch oven. He's always Dutch ovening, girl. I don't know why you got that. He just uh, that's what they call him. Uh, I wouldn't want to be known as that. <laughs> that's his nickname. I don't care. If I think, is he nickname. Dutch? Uh, yeah, I think he's Dutch, and he's a pitcher. Maybe he brings the heat. Well, so he's bringing the heat. So there you go. It's and his last name's Holland. So, mm. so, so right. he must be Dutch. Right. <laughs> he might not be. But the last name just gives it. Maybe it's just from the last name then. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just the last name. Let's do the question of the day. Shelby wants to know what is what is our drag name? Everyone has to have one. Mine is Miami Filth. Or Mimi Filth, sorry. Mimi. If you need help, uh, here's a chart from RuPaul. All right. Okay. okay. So I'll do mine first. Okay. My birthday's in March. So lady. First letter of your first name. Okay, there's that. Okay. And then last name. So my name is Lady Ornacia Surprise. Ornacia? Ornacia. Okay. Surprise. I it was All supposed right. to be like your... Um, That's your, your stripper name. It's month stripper. you were born, first letter of your first name, and they have words and then... Okay, so go through Kelly. Stripper name is the name of your first pet in the first street you <laughs> We don't ever know that. We got, we got a little bit of time to do this real quick. Yes, the alarms go off. Uh, April. <clears throat> Kelly's April, so you're Dame. And then you got... Your first name's Angela, though, right? Nope. No. Changed it legally. It's Kelly. Oh, it's officially Kelly. Okay. Okay, there's that one in Raspberry. There's the R. So you... You are Dame Ivana O'Plenty. Ivana wow. O'Plenty. Yeah. Ivana. All right, Big Al Mac, yeah. you are December. Yes, I am. No title for you, sir, but... No title? Nope. You got A and Mac. Where are you at? There you go. You are Peaches Filth. Yeah. Peaches yeah. Filth. Yeah, I'll get you yeah. some. And Jenna, you're May. Yeah, May. You got them. Damn. Jenna is Jenna. Oh, we have the same name. And then, oh. All right, so you are Madame Ornacia Kmart. <laughs> Kmart. Madame Kmart. <laughs> Classy drag there you queen. Go. Hey, we'll be back tomorrow. We got Flush the Format. We got Feel Good Friday, Second Chance Santa, all that good stuff's happening. Kid Nation, have a wonderful day.